What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 here bringing you the final legendary roster video of a team, which is the Green Bay Packers. <sighs> I gotta catch my breath, there's hauling in some wood. Um, yeah, so I figure we end the, the series here, kind of, with, uh, with one of the best rosters, one of the most requested teams. Apologize to your Packer fan, you had to wait to the very end, but I kind of wanted to end on a right foot here, you know, I didn't want to end with like a Cardinals or a Titans or a Jags. Plus, I like the Packers. Maybe, maybe that was just my breath. Holy fuck. Um, I don't hate... I don't know. Packers are like a middle team. Like, Brett Favre, super exciting. Usually a very exciting team to watch. But also, they win a lot. There's lots of bandwagon fans. All that stuff. Um, but yeah, what we do in these videos, if this is your first time stopping by, is we sim to the halfway point of the season, and if it looks like we're going to make the playoffs, we're just going to simulate straight to the playoffs, and then we'll play in the playoffs, and that will be your footage. But if we don't make the playoffs, we're going to, at the halfway point, we'll just play divisional matchups so we get some gameplay that way. Um, also, because this is the last video, I expect to do one more, not sure when, hopefully before New Year's, where I do like an all-star game, where I take and try, hopefully the salary cap issue won't be a dick, and make um, one final roster of all the players that I enjoyed playing with, and then we could have, you know, that will be the good way to send it out. But this is the last official one for the time being, and then on Christmas Day... You guys are going to get the video that shows the download link for these rosters, which is going to be kind of annoying because I don't want to release them too early. So I'm literally going to have to make the video and do all that shit on Christmas Day. But whatever, I can do that. So let's take a look here at the roster. First, we'll make sure the depth chart is as good as it could be. I don't think so, Aaron. It's going to be Brett Favre's team. So in terms of the most stacked rosters, this is right up there. I'm going to say the Steelers, Packers, and Raiders were probably the big three, followed by the Cowboys and 49ers. And I think we only really had success with the Raiders or all of them, so maybe I, maybe it's cursed. But let's start with the quarterback spot. We get Brett Favre the full 99. Um, you know, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, pretty much universal. He kind of in the realm of Peyton Manning, where I think he maybe played a year or two too long. To try to like, I'm not saying he tried to pad his stats, but those extra years kind of did pad his stats. Uh, but then again, that one last year they had with the Minnesota Vikings where they made that crazy playoff run, that was some of the most exciting football I've ever seen in my entire life. So kudos for that. Uh, then we got Rodgers 97 and Bart Starr 89. Probably should have gave him a 90 because he like all, all three of these guys are Packer legends. Um, looking at the running backs, Paul, we get Amon Green 90, Paul Horning uh, 86, Eddie Lacy 84, and Edgar Bennett 84. Not familiar with Bennett, I know. Hornung, is it Ron, Paul Horning? I thought it was Horning, Hornung, whatever. He was old school type running back way back in the day. But Amon Green was the running back during the the prime Brett Favre years. Very very solid runner. Uh, fullback we had Jim Taylor ninety four and John Kuhn ninety two. Uh, pretty big history here for fullbacks. Obviously everyone knows John Kuhn. Uh, I think he's on the Saints now, but I mean, he's a Green Bay Packer. But Jim Taylor's well up there in the total rushing touchdown list, so we gave him the slight nod. Wide receivers, the most stacked wide receivers that we will see. When Randall Cobb at 88 is your worst wide receiver, you're looking all right. We got Jordy Nelson, 90. Don Hudson, 90. James Lofton, 92. Probably Hudson could be ahead of Lofton. Uh, we got Sh Sterling Sharp, 93. Donald Driver, 95. Let's actually make Hudson ahead of Lofton. I think Hudson had better stats. Or at least was like a... Hud didn't Hudson win the MVP once? Wasn't he an actual... Like way back in the day, he was MVP. He's a white guy. That's good. We can't give a white guy 90 jumping. That's not racist either. That's just that's just straight up what you you can't do that. Those kind of things. All right, that should bump him up past at least Lofton here. There we go. Both tied 92, but um, yeah, stack. Donald Driver. I think he holds all the receiving records. Remember Donald Driver grew up in a motherfucking U-Haul truck or something crazy like that. Had a rough upbringing and was a big, pretty big success story. The uh, only guy we're really missing is Greg Jennings, and I think because it was the salary cap issue. I tried throwing him on this team, and he would not go for the salary cap, which is kind of frustrating. But uh, he's not going to be missed, unfortunately. Tight end spot, we got Paul Kaufman, 90. He's the all-time leading uh, tight end in terms of yards, and I think touchdowns as well. We got, uh, I could have I added Bubba Franks, but I didn't realize Bubba Franks didn't really do a whole lot in Green Bay. Uh, left tackle, David Bakhtiari, 81. He's the only really weak link. We got sitting back here, 88. Centers, Larry McCarron, 87. Right guards, TJ Lang, 91. And right tackles, Forrest Gregg, 
aka Old Greg, 97 overall right tackle. So this is a very solid offensive line. Even even your weakest guy on offensive line is 81. It's not that bad. Uh, left defensive end, we got Henry Jordan, 95, uh, regarded as one of the greatest Packer defenders of all time. Right defensive end, we got Mike Daniels, 93, and Willie Davis, 91. Uh, take your pick. Um, I don't think the sizes were right on some of these guys. I'm not good, like depth guys, but um, yeah, we still got them here. You can you could do that fine, like for the depth people to make sure the roster is 100% accurate in terms of size and stuff like that. Uh, but you guys can tweak that if you're a Packer fan and you want to get down with these rosters. We got Mike Daniels, 93. Uh, defense attack, we got Gilbert Brown, 92 overall. I mean, this guy was just, I remember he got a legendary card. I don't think it was, was it this Madden or last Madden? But it was terrifying. I remember he just had the gigantic fucking neck roll thing. And the, uh, oh, I mean, he was, he was just a scary looking motherfucker. We also brought back Cullen Jenkins, 87. He had a pretty good career there with Green Bay. Even though he's bounced around from team to team. Left to side linebacker, we got Clay Matthews, 91. Middle linebacker, we got Ray Nitschke, 95. I mean, two of the greatest linebackers in Packer history right there. He's maybe, Ray Nitschke may be... I think you probably have to give Nitschke the edge for the greatest defender, or at least maybe most iconic defender in Packer history. But Clay Matthews has got to be up there. He's been incredible for these last couple of years. Right outside linebacker, we got Nick Perry, so kind of a weak link there, I guess. Uh, corner, we got Herb Adderley, 95. Best corner, I'd say. Sam Shields, 85. I did originally have Charles Woodson. Now, I tried to fine tune these rosters as best as possible. People in the Raiders video didn't get to see Charles Woodson. Now, people in the Packers video, I traded Charles Woodson back to the Raiders. That was an absolute outrage, I guess. And, uh, you know, I, I, I committed some sort of sin not putting Charles Woodson on the Raiders, so I did that. So that's why we're missing uh, another corner here. But Adderley and Shields should be able to get the job done. Uh, free safety, we got HaHa Clinton Dix, 83. And at strong safety, we got Leroy Butler, 85. Morgan, or 93, sorry. And Morgan Burnett, who's actually had himself quite a career for the Packers, 85. But Butler will be our starter. Uh, kicker, we got Mason Crosby, 85. And punter Tim Mastay, 70. So this roster, pretty good. Couple couple holes, but like where other teams are a couple holes where guys that were like 75 or fucking below. The worst players we got here are like low 80. So we are looking all right as we get ready to sim to the midseason here. There's Darrow's arrows. Getting ready for some fucking Christmas Overwatch. They need to hurry up and up release that. Sooner than later, that'd be cool. Blizzard. But... This is my last one. I don't know if I'm going to record another one today. i got to start working on my newest rebuild. It's fucking Tuesday night. I don't want to give me time so I don't have to rush it. It is still the Rams rebuild that I need to do. And I have no idea how I'm going to do that one. Luckily, I don't have to worry about drafting a quarterback or running back. It's pretty much going to be get a big name wide receiver. Probably through the draft. Build the offensive line. Maybe move some pieces around on the defensive line. Secondary needs to be improved a little bit. But... I like the Rams. Like I said, some of these ones are a little bit easier. Like I said, it's nice having Goff, who develops into a great quarterback. Same with Gurley. Was working pieces, but that is neither here nor there. That is another video, another time, another place. We are talking about the Green Bay Packers. So, I guess I'm recording this on the 6th of December. So, the time you guys see this, probably the picture, playoff picture for the Green Bay Packers this season might be a little bit clearer. But it looks like they're getting their shit together. Unfortunately, they got it start over 3 and 4 somehow. Fortunately, they got it started against my Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, my God. All right. Looks like we're going to have another quick video here, unfortunately. I was kind of excited to make a playoff run. We got the final three games. We may play three if we have a playoff spot. If not, we'll just do what we do. And it looks like we're not going to make it very far and just play the last two games. So let's go next week. Hopefully, we get a win streak going and get back up in the division race. Doesn't make sense though. Like you saw, this this is such an overpowered roster. Four and four, really? Oh, okay. That's that makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Everyone plays like shit for sure. Do that. Maybe it's like a playbook issue where, like, historically, maybe some of the best packages were a four three. Now they're running a three four. Maybe that's. I wonder how what the impact is that um, on my rosters. But hey, we're six and four here. We're getting a couple wins, much like the Green Bay Packers of real struggling early. And looks like we might be finding our stride in the second half of the season. Six and five. Six and five, one and ten Texas. Come on, give us this win. We need this. Seven and five. There we go. Eight and five. Can we get eight and five? Going once. Going twice. 
And sold to the Green Bay Packers. There we go. Just like that, tied for first. Uh, I don't want to... Alright, we'll do this one. We're playing our last two. We'll take this one against the Bears. Hopefully we can get it done. Because I'm skipping out on this one, I'm going to make sure I start my rebuild tonight. Hey, we won, though. Could have been worse. I probably would have lost. So now we're top of the division. We're having one hell of a tear. And we're getting ready to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Good roster. Didn't perform well when we were... Look, we're 97 overall. That's... I think we were 97... Yeah, that's the same as the Steelers and the Raiders, so... This roster should be getting shit done. But yeah, the Vikings roster is pretty good. Didn't perform well for me, but on paper, you know that they are guys that can get the job done. Well, this is, let's see if I can send Darrow's arrows a little message here. I want to change my friendship. Overwatch in 30. Over. Alright, let's get this shit going. Donald Driver on his pit. Almost get 100 total catches. We keep this going. Long green rushing. Yeah, not bad. 15 touchdowns already. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe even more. Who knows? Red Fiverr. Okay, let's do this. And it's a snow game. What a better game. Remember that crazy game Brett Favre had when his dad died? It was a Monday night game. He went off. It's one of the greatest, most inspiring things I've seen in sports history. Oh, shit. Come on, Brett. Be a gunslinger. Anybody? Or just get massacred. Just get scraped massacred here. Cool. Great start to the game. That set the tone. Let the Vikings push our shit in, apparently. I didn't like that. Like, half the guys gave up on the routes. I don't know what attribute that is. Is it awareness? Why did they stop running? Like, no one continued on once I started to scramble. See if we can get this. See if we can get a touchdown before the end of the first half. So I'm going to go through all those goddamn cutscenes. Oh, he got close. All right, we need this. We need our defense to come up strong. It looks like they're not providing much in terms of resistance thus far. But Amon Green's up there in touchdowns, so he looks like he's been doing work around the goal line. There we go. Mon Green finds the end zone, cuts the lead in half for the Minnesota Vikings. We got Jim Taylor, or Phil Taylor. Tim the Toolman Taylor back there at fullback. I want to give it to him again. This will be the Amon Green show. Remember he tried to make a comeback? Did Amon Green like retire, then he just came out of retirement for like three games for the Packers? I feel like that's something that happened. Doing sharp. There we go. Keep him within distance, I suppose. I can't believe we fucking we did that bad on the opening drive. Basically gave up a goddamn touchdown. And our defense. Oh, I mean, whatever. That look doesn't even look like it matter. Our defense is not stopping them anyway. We're gonna need some Brett Favre magic in the second half. Gunslinger. He will say Carson Wentz may be the next Brett Favre. I don't. I don't know if that's a great compliment, because Brett Favre had so many turnovers, but it worked. He got a Super Bowl. That's all that matters. Carson Wentz can have fucking more picks than touchdowns. If he gets Philadelphia Super Bowl, uh, all's good, and that's a pick. Oh, that's not a pick. I'm going to put that one on the weather, because I think I could. Mr. Terrence Newman could debatably be on the Cowboys roster right now.
O-line does their job. Oh, my God. Yeah, wide open. You got to get that out, Brett Favre. Come on. Old man Favre couldn't get that one out. Send the loft in across. Let's keep trying to hit him, gash him with these slants here. Brett Favre just eats shit. Forces it. Probably could have been picked again. Mala, fucking snow games, man. Well, now our defense is coming to play. Maybe we're a second half team. Who knows? All right, let's keep working it. Look, Brett Favre, 44 touchdowns on the season right now. Hey, we got a touchdown. Cool. All right. Defense doesn't want to quite play very well right now. Okay, well, it looks like our defense didn't decide to play today, or else of that we're wearing fucking the kind of cleats you don't need to wear in the snow. Brett Favre cannot get hit. Literally, like, I was Jake Plummer in my last video. Like, that's just uh, recording too many of these at once, getting two different, like, quarterback play styles. Like, Jake Plummer would make all these throws right before getting hit. Seems like, uh, maybe it's the snow, but Brett Favre is just not happening. He's not, he's not being able to. Stay in the pocket, get pummeled, keep going. You have inside cross here. There you go, Kaufman. Gets popped. Keep running that. Get a quick touchdown, get a three and out, make him stop, make him say yeah. Get the ball back, try to make something happen. There we go. Whoo! Now it's in our defense's hands. Oh boy. Oh bother. Hey, they did. And hey, we got solid field position on that punt. Okay. A scramble with Brett Favre. There's one thing Brett Favre is known for it's a 10 yard scramble. Look, he's five rushes for 34 yards in this game already. So we take it to the two-minute warning. This may be an overtime thriller. Mike Awesome, the fat chick thriller. There's an inside joke for old-school wrestling fans of WCW. All right, let's go. You can tell they're prepared for us to, uh, to just pass this ball. All right, let's chew this clock a little bit. Worst case scenario, they get the ball with just under a minute left. Best case scenario, we can chew the clock all the way down. And not worry about shit. Not worry about a goddamn thing. Brett Favre having himself a nice day. Look at that last week. What a Brett Favre stat line. 356, five touchdowns, two picks. All right. After this, we'll tick off, chew the clock. Try to win this thing. Oh, great route by Don Lofton. And he drops it. Thanks, bro. Heaven forbid you make a good catch there. Guess that's too much to ask. I don't know. Hit him with a four vertical. See what that's saying. They got solid corners back there. Especially, I'm worried about Harrison Smith back at safety. Take it. Get a nice chunk of yards there. Third and two. The corner strike, like these plays, these corner strike plays, I like to use them. But in the snow, they slip. You know? Look at that. Look at that. At least that, hopefully that flag's coming back. But look, no, it's the return to the house. That's going to be uh, something on me. it got to be. Like wide open. Donald Driver's catching a touchdown there if that ball got to him in time. Holding. Off. Is that defense? No, it's on me. Cool. Well, that's the end of that one, and probably the end of the season. Don't know what I could have done better. But, uh, yeah. So, one more game, I suppose. I would have been Brett Favre game without throwing an interception in a somewhat crucial situation. But I would have liked to not have the fucking snow game, or whatever the cheese that was.
was a deflected ball. Very annoying. So annoying. Very annoying. So what is this game against the Detroit Lions going to mean to this roster? So we're 9-6. and six. The Vikings, I assume, have the tiebreaker over us. And we're in a playoff spot. 9. Even if we lose, we might still make the playoffs. But we're not going to lose, right? Ninety-six overall lines, ninety-seven overall Packers. This get it. Ugh. Come on, Mike McCarthy, reach your goals, you fat fuck. Ten out of ten wins. We can do it. It's a pretty solid year though for Amon Green, considering I can only assume phenomenal passing stats for Brett Favre. Like, what are we at? Forty-six touchdowns. Maybe we'll see here in the little little box with Brett Favre sitting at. No, let's just check up on Phil Kaufman. Cool. You Chase Kaufman's dad. You know Chase Kaufman? He was a he was a highly regarded tight end from college and did shit all. I think he was on the Bengals. When he was in college, he was like the projected best tight end in that class. Oh, Brett Favre at the end there. Of course I missed it. Alright. Hot start defense. Any moments for me? All right, we got a moment. Third and eight, phenomenal. Could you make it even? Can you make it a little bit better? Could I have third and twelve? I think that'd be a little juicier for me to convert. Wide open. Well, not really wide open. Great route. Great route. Good separation. Hey, we'll take that. And we're in the red zone. Go get that lead. Fuck off. Holy. Again, I, I don't know. That was a pretty shit, shitty pick, to be honest. But our defense is not doing a damn thing. Brett Favre's slowest release I think I've ever seen it of any of these quarterbacks. I thought it was the snow game last time. What is wrong with his release, man? I hit Y like three seconds ago. Is there some latency between my wireless controller and my Xbox? Like, why is he not getting the ball out of his hands? Oh, that's a bad. That's probably a pick. A pick fried dick. There you go. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I guess we'll keep playing the moment, keep gunslinging it. One thing I know about Brett Favre is that even if you got two picks, you don't stop fucking slinging it down into double coverage. You keep going. All right, the comeback is on, baby. Donald Driver with the swag dive into the end zone. This wasn't an interception. It's baby steps. Now we're in the red zone to make it a fucking one touchdown game. One field goal game, potentially. Oh, come on, I even won that tackle battle, man. You're still going to put me on the one? Uh, all right. Pardon me. Excuse me for that. A little uh, interjection from my, my body telling me, eat. Oh. Time we bring in John Kuhn. See, we know. It's it's the fucking Brett Favre. You throw the ball on the one-yard line. I'm surprised we're not running four verticals here. There we go. Take that in for the touchdown, and we're only down by a field goal. Come on, defense. You got the momentum now. Nope. Cool. No. Oh, no. Hey, hey, hey. Red zone. Make it interesting.
Slowest release in the fucking game, man. In the game going today. This guy got a slower, the re slower release than when Dr. Dre was supposed to release Chronic. You know? Oh, Donald Driver gets jacked up. It takes it down to the two. Maybe we can hit uh, Amon Green with an outside pitch. The left side is the strong side of our offensive line, and that's probably incorrect. But we'll see. Looks like I made one heck of a play call here. There we go. Amon Green gets to the outside. Makes it a three-point game. Mike McCarthy can't believe it. He's praying to the gods that our defense can get a stop here. Oh, shit. We might be able to win this one, fellas. Go with a bang. Just outruns his coverage for a gain of one. But we'll get the clock going, I guess. Chris Spielman. What's he saying? Making lots of tackles, I suppose. Oh shit, I didn't know that was second down. God. Oh, we're in four down territory regardless pretty much right now. What a catch by Lofton. Thought that was going to be a pick for sure. Great play. Right, let's choose some of this clock for sure. For sure 100%, bud. Let's go. We got Don Hudson out there now. The release. Uh, I'm, I'm throwing this one on Brett Fryer's release. Awful. Absolutely awful. Don't know what I could do, like what attribute I could bust, buff to make that not horrible. Horrible. Horrible release. Nine minutes to throw the football for when I hit the button for it to come out of his goddamn hands. Might have still made the playoffs. I don't fucking know. Maybe that comes on me. Maybe I'm not hitting the ball, getting the, the ball out of my hands fast enough, but I'm playing that on the release. Wasn't a fan. Okay. Definitely not a, nine, not, definitely not a release of a 97 overall quarterback. So at 97, did we make the playoffs or not? And the game is telling us we did. We made the wild card against the Carolina Panthers. Surprise, surprise. Let's take a look at our final season stats. Brett Favre, almost 5,000 passing yards, 49 touchdowns, 14 picks. Pretty much what I expected from Brett Favre. That's one of the best passing stat lines I've had. I mean, like I said, nothing's going to probably eclipse what we did with Ben Roethlisberger back in the Steelers rebuild. Hashtag go check that out. But great stat line from Brett Favre. Among Green, 1,200 yards, 17 touchdowns. Pretty explosive offense. Receiving uh, 92 receptions, 1,100 yards, and 10 touchdowns for Sterling Sharp. 90 receptions, 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns for Donald Driver. 89 receptions, 1,200 yards, 13 touchdowns for Lofton. Uh, Coffin from the tight end spot, 575 and 4. Defense side of the ball, Ray Nitschke led the team with 130 total tackles. 7.5 sacks for Mike Daniels, 7 for Jordan. And for interceptions, 4 for Ray Nitschke, 3 for Matthew, 3 for Shields, and 3 for Herb Adderley. Okay, let's jump right into the playoffs here. Ben Roethlisberger won MVP, speaking of Big Ben. So this is the time if you're a Packers fan, just stumble upon this video. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Good things happen when you hit the subscribe button. I don't know what they are. Good vibes. Good vibes are sent your way. So we're in the wild card against the Carolina Panthers. I can't remember if we made the playoffs with the Panthers when we did them, but... Mm. They're solid roster. They were one of the surprising ones. But it's more so because the roster right now and this year's game was good. So adding legends to that made it even better. Because historically the Panthers, are, I'd probably put them at like bottom half for sure. In terms of historic playmakers throughout franchise history. Come on, we got 99 overall Brett Favre. Let's get it done. Oh man, Amon Green fell two yards short of his season goal. Level 4 season goal. Is there a level 5? I don't know. Alright, we're at whatever MT&T Bank Stadium, wherever the fuck this one is. I have no idea. I know things keep getting moved from Carolina because they have like some sort of gay marriage ban or something for gay people.
There we go. It's a nice little start. Oh, tight end. We also I forgot Jermichael Finley, huh? He could have been a tight end that we needed. He was a thing a couple years ago. I remember. Ooh, remember Jermichael Finley? Oh, let's go. Perfect on the drive for Brett Favre. Very efficient. Let's keep it going. Stiff firm the shit out of 25. Let's go. Hello, hello. Oh, th th there's the release that I've been looking for. Look how quick that came out of his hands. There's literally nothing different between that and the other two times. Fucking, I don't know what that is. If anyone knows what uh, affects a quarterback's release, I would love to know. And that time, well, I mean, that one there, that was just well covered. Kudos to the Panthers. So I didn't check to see who got a buy here. Or who we we're going to be potentially playing. Hopefully Kaufman can get open in the end zone. Boom! Wide open. Let's go for the nice little touchdown there. Getting the lead, trying to shut this home crowd up. So many kids there wanting to get a fucking touchdown ball from Cam Newton. Let's just shit in their Cheerios. Nice stand from the defense there. Looks like we had awful field position. Turned it over. Helm to a field goal. Now it's our turn to pick it up. Oh, fit that in there. Ah, oh, fuck. Risky. Very, very risky. But, hey, sometimes I deserve to get lucky a little bit. So let's kick this field goal, tie this ball game up. Boom. Mason Crosby equalizes. Mason Crosby is a folk legend around my part of town. Because when you're playing anyone in this game within my group of friends and you're shitting them, you make sure that you have Mason Crosby on your team, be it you're the Packers or you trade for him, so that you can put him as your quarterback to rub salt in the wounds. Mason Crosby's that guy. I wish I was on YouTube like six years ago so I could show some of my epic battles that I have my buddies for Madden. One of the most competitive games you'll ever see. Oh, Don Driver, let's go! Swag on him. Tornator right into the end zone. Let's go. Brett Favre hype. Brett Favre is hype. I get a minute 24. Come on, defense. All right, hell no field goal. Not bad. We've just been ch chasing points the whole game, though. But. Nice game, though, to Lofton. Brett Favre having a very Brett Favre-esque game. Now, if we just get two more touchdowns, four touchdowns, two picks, that sounds like a dream scenario for Brett Favre. When he goes to sleep, he's like, that's what I want. Hey, we got a touchdown. We didn't have to take over. Nice. I'm going to say, I'm not even playing Overwatch for another half hour, so I kind of hope we can go to the Super Bowl and win it here in this last video. Oh, what a ball. And he brings it in. I don't know who that, if that was Jordy Nelson or Don Hudson, but great catch there to set up a first and goal. Oh, boy. Let's chew the clock here a little bit, run a trap play. Oh, that was Kaufman, the tight end, that made that great catch. Oh, he got popped. One yard gain. There we go. 100 yards in the day for Amon Green. He's done his job. <laughs> is, he, is he still alive? He got up kind of slow from that one. All right, come on, Donald Driver. That's where we're going. My B's open. And we hit Sterling Sharp for the touchdown. That should give us at least enough cover. That regardless of what happens on the next drive, we should be in a nice position to take this game. 
There we go. We got this shit. Let's go! There we go. End it. Let's take us to the two. Look at that. Four touchdowns, two picks. Who called that? This guy. This motherfucking guy. The guy that's in charge. Right now. Here we go. 38-27 victory. Your Green Bay Packers going over the Carolina Panthers as we move to the NFC East. Or NFC. Divisional round. NFC East. Brave the December gauntlet. These gauntlets are stupid. My, my fucking ultimate team's stupid, man. They could, it, uh, it could be so good. It could be like the best thing going. They just make it so bad every year. Like maybe I'll try to jump on that next year where now I'm a little bit bigger. But fuck, I don't know. Not a fan. Make, just get rid of contracts. If they got rid of contracts, so a guy like me that doesn't want to spend a bunch of money, and I'd rather just grind it out. The contracts make it not fun. I think I have like 1,200 contracts. Should I do a giveaway if you guys are still with me? Do you guys want like some of my Ultimate Team stuff you guys still play? I got a couple Legends, or not Legends, sorry. A couple Epics, whatever the fuck, the red ones. As we get ready to take on the San Francisco 49ers in the divisional round. Let's see what the roster, who is the better roster? It's going to be close. 97, 94, not as close as I thought. The Lions have a better roster than the Niners? What? Yikes. That's a hot take right there. Yeah, I got a couple players that I could probably give away. I'm not sure how I'd do that. Maybe that could be a Christmas thing. I don't know. I give and I give and I give and I get nothing in return. Nah, we cool, fam. I love you guys. Just gotta chill. Enjoy the fucking holidays. Put on some pounds because you fucking love the cookies. You love the Christmas hams. Start that diet on January 1st, you know, with everyone else. You know. You know the routine, baby. Get ready for summer. 2017, gonna be a big year for you. Alright, let's go. Oh, they do have Dion. Gotta be careful. I think he's on the right side, though. Good start to the drive. Let's go. I want the Super Bowl. I want to end this thing on a Super Bowl. I think we started with the Super Bowl. We started at least with the Super Bowl appearance. I want to win it. But I think that right-hand side got... No, no, Dion's on. Dion's on the fucking Falcons. They got Ronnie Lott. Okay. Winner of this game may potentially play the Philadelphia Eagles. Good for them. Oh, let's go tight end. I don't know why. I should have tried to go through him. Brett Favre, perfect on this opening drive. Uh, do we mix in a run? I can audible to a run. No, oh, like a blitz. Anybody? Anybody want to get open? We'll just scramble for eight yards. I hate that shit when they just stop running. Like, there's some play, like, it's something. Like, there's some players that will continue to run and scramble. I think that's a release, right? Like, a high release rating. Or maybe it's a low release rating. Like, the lower your release rating, the less, like, strict you are to your route. And you might break off. I don't know. But that's a touchdown. It's probably coming back for holding. You never know. Remember the old Madden's when they'd show the guy like that? It meant it was, he was the guilty party, but I don't know if that still holds true. Oh, he was. Tremaine Brock with the hold. We'll decline for the touchdown. Let's go. Opening drive touchdown, baby. Oh, shit. And we're pumping them. I think when we were the 49ers, we, we lost to the Packers at some point. I think. Anyways. Modal? Oh, no. Oh, come on, Bakhtiari. No. Brett Favre with the fumbleitis. Tie ball game. Momentum shift. They get all the momentum. Here we go. Just fucking poured on 
Send Donald Driver deep. Oh, fit that in. What a grab, Donald Driver. As the ball goes flying. From glitched into the middle of the field, but what a ball. Wait, what placement to fit that in? Let's go. Let's flex our, flex our muscles here on offense. Look at that. Oh, sharp driver. It's going to have to be a fucking... We have to have lots of trust in our receiver here because we're going to lay it up right away. They're bringing the blitz. Psych! They thought they had me, but I had them. We had superior... They just couldn't cover all of them. I thought that was going to be an all the blitz and we just had to chuck it up and let Donald Driver do his damn thing. I think that was James Lofton helping us out. Oh, let's go. Sometimes I usually forget the B guy. X, X is usually my primary read, but B got open. It's still the same thing on the other side of the field. C4, let's go. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Thanks for giving me lots of moments to play. I'll cherish this forever. I'm just. I'm throwing this to Don Driver. I'm not even going for the. We need to get a touchdown right here. Oh come on! It was wide open, and you overthrow him like that. Fuck, that was it. Let's take. Oh, I'm gonna run that same goddamn play again. Hopefully they line up the same. Shallow cross. Come on, have the same formation. I don't know. Whatever, we'll go for the first down then if we have to. Why? And with the four verticals though, baby. Oh, don't jump that. Ah, oh, fuck. That was a good play. Good play by the defense. Let's see, 21. We don't have to get it. 14, 7. Well, we do kind of have to get a touchdown. We do have to get it quick. Oh, my God. How, no, that's just dumb. That was... B was wide open. Fuck, I waited too long. Why did I even throw... I thought... That was me trusting a 99 overall quarterback and thinking he could... Like, you just... Ah, Fuck, he was wide open. That's annoying. I had him. B was wide open. He's been beating his man. I gotta start looking at B more often. Send him deep. He's been putting on a goddamn clinic over there. Again. Just throw it to B. He, he should have three touchdowns right now. Is that James Lofton? I guess. I don't know. We're still not out of it because Loft or Sharp, whoever, has just been beating this guy like a drum. Ah, uh, they had a deep safety. But he makes it. Oh, fuck. Why did you give me the tackle thing if you didn't catch it? That's annoying. Uh, that's not looking good, fellas. Not looking good. We're slinging it, though. Like, we're just rest in peace to our receivers. Ronnie Lott's having a goddamn field day. I can't believe they keep fucking feeding him across the middle here. We have to do things. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Ooh, Brett Favre got rocked. Donald Driver gets out of bounds. Like, we got a chance. Not very likely, but we got a chance. Defense has not helped us out today very much, fortunately. Come on, Herb Adderley. Maybe it's because we got rid of Charles Woodson. Catch that. 
Drop pass, that would have been a touchdown. A tough catch, but it was like leading on his body. Literally just put your hand on your chest. Act like you're super patriotic. We would have had a touchdown. We go out of bounds. At least we're, you know, kind of dinking and diving. No big plays, but we're getting out of bounds every time. There we go. Feed that in. Keeping it. In. Just keeping our hopes up. Everyone in Green Bay is hoping that we can beat the Cal kids from California. Come on, make the stop. Oh, fuck. We might be able to get a Hail Mary off. Oh, let's go, Randall Cobb. Not even close. Well, thank you for tuning in for the final episode of Legendary Rosters. I hope you guys enjoyed it thus far. And like I said, only, what is it, a day, two till Christmas, and you're getting these rosters. Fortunately, it's only on Xbox One, so I'm going to have to do something else on Christmas. Hint, hint, wink, wink. For all the PlayStation 4 users that are subscribed to me. But thank you guys for all the love and support. Hope you guys are having a good, sick-ass Christmas break. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying,